Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is Valley's famous, legendary Cougar Darts SM. I have no idea what SM stands for, but Cougar Darts. You've probably seen this dartboard before. In my opinion, it's probably one of, if not the most famous electronic dartboard ever. So you may have seen this in a bar or a pub, if that's the uh, the noun you prefer. This is probably one of the one of the most reliable dartboards ever. These are these things are cool, um, and so as such, a lot of people like them in their home game room. So we get dartboards in every once in a while, and we figured we'd film a little video of it. This thing first came out in I think 1989 was the first one and then uh, the this particular one uh, I think was 1993 which is just the build date it's the same design I believe is the one from 1989 I may be wrong about that but I don't think I am so basically um, it's coin operated you know you drop a quarter in for each player and then you've got the uh, nice dartboard there we got the little display up top. FP stands for free play because this is set on free play. This baby has the manual with it and everything still, and so it uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of these got kind of beat up, you know, because they're in kind of rough places sometimes. Um, but this one's in good shape now. One of the things you might be thinking is, how in the world do you move that thing? It's so tall. I mean, it's like seven feet tall. There's a bend, there's a break right here, and it has hinges on the back. And so basically, whenever you move it, um, you open up this, and there's three little uh, wing nuts, or wing bolts that you take loose, and uh, the top folds back and it folds all the way down and it kind of locks into place like this on that back part there and so basically it's only this tall whenever you move it very well designed very easy to move and it works good too this is a it's probably my favorite model now they made other ones with they made older ones that were a little simpler than this, and then they made other ones uh, with a monitor in them that showed some stuff on the screen. To me, it's darts, people. I mean, it doesn't need to be too complicated, you know? But what is kind of cool is if you've got a little, a little bit of variety of games to play on it. So this one had four different games, um, which made it pretty special. And then on top of that, it had Honest Ernie. Honest Ernie is pretty cool. Maybe I can show him off here in a second. All right. Let's, uh, you can see that there are four buttons flashing right now. So if you put your quarter in, if it's set on a quarter per play, it's on free play right now, but if you put your quarter in, it would start flashing those four buttons. Those four buttons are the type of game. So you've got high score, Shanghai, 301, 501, 701, 901, and cricket slash mark 21. So let's read over the instructions, shall we? How to play Cougar Darts. Deposit a quarter, one credit. Game buttons flash until the game is selected. Option buttons then flash until the option is selected. Important, don't forget this part. Where multiple choices are shown on the same button, press button repeatedly until your choice appears in the upper display. Two, the price per player is now displayed. Deposit required amount for all players. Up to four can play. Three, press player change button until all players' displays are activated. That's the player change button. Four, begin when green throw dart symbol is lit. So you've got the little cougar symbol. And then this says, do not throw darts. And this says, 
throw darts. Begin when green throw dart symbol is lit. First dart thrown starts the game. And the way that it knows that a dart has been thrown is one, it'll hit that, but also there's a little sensor up there that actually kind of sees them. Each player throws three darts per round from the throw line, which is about eight feet. And so they have a, uh, there's a little label down there on the bottom that says eight feet from this mark, and it's for tournament purposes. So you can measure exactly eight feet on the floor from that spot, which corresponds directly with the face of the dartboard. All right, so that's how you do it. So basically you have to pick a different type of game. Which game do you want to play? So those are listed over here. So you can play high score. Objective, score the most points. High score at the end of the game wins. I think you get 10 rounds. Uh, of three darts each, so I think that's 30 throws. Is that what 10 times 3 is? I believe it is. All right, so that's one you can do. You can see so you can play high score, the simplest game, by just hitting the high score button. Or you can play my favorite, Shanghai. Not because I'm any good at it, just because it's kind of cool. Objective, to hit each numbered sector with one dart in sequence, 1 through 20, and then the bullseye. So basically on your first dart, you know, you get three throws your first round, and so you hit one, or you try to hit one, and so let's say you miss and you miss, and then you finally hit one. Well, whenever it's your next turn, then you try to hit two. And let's say you hit two the first time. Well, then on your next dart, you try to hit three and four. And so each, you basically try to hit one until you hit it, and then you move on to trying to hit two until you hit it, and then you move on to trying to hit three, and you work all the way through, and then you try to hit the bullseye. This has the desirable double bullseye. If you get the blue, it's 50 points. But if you can hit that middle red bullseye, it's 100 points. All right. And it seems like, though, that that only works on some games. Other games, it just gives you 50 no matter what you hit. I don't know why it's like that. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I ought to read the manual. All right. So if you don't want to play Shanghai, another game you can play is 301, 501, 701, 901, and options. Objective. Beginning with 301, 501, 701, or 901 points, the first player to score down to exactly zero wins. So basically, when you start, your score will be 301 points. And so you just play through and it subtracts your points from 301, however you score. Now, if you're not familiar with darts, on like this three, these two big sections are three points. This fairly small section here is double, so it's six points, and this really small section here is triple, so it's nine points. So depending on where you land, blah, blah, blah. So let's say you get down to you need 17 points. Well, the only way to get 17 points with one dart is to hit one of the sections in 17. But let's say you get down and you need 12 points. Well, you could win by either hitting the 12, or you could hit the double six on the outside there, or you could hit the triple four there. So it very, I mean, you got to really know your stuff. I mean, I am not talented enough to hit exactly where I'm throwing the freaking dart, but a lot of people are. Maybe if I keep practicing. Player busts and loses turn if score passes zero. Score then resets to start of turn. Team play is available. See league options below. To select this game, press the 301, 501, 701, 901 button until your choice appears in the display. So I guess you could try to play 901. You know, that would be even more insane, in my opinion. It, this is, that's a really hard game, folks, trying to play that. Okay, double in options. Player must score in a double point value segment to begin play. Okay, double out option. Player must reach zero exactly by scoring in a double point value segment. That sounds nightmarish. Master's out option. Player must reach zero. Oop. Master's out option. Player must reach zero by scoring in a double or triple point value segment. League option for 301, 501, 701, 901. Objective for one player on a team to reach zero. Players 1 and 3 are Team A. Players 2 and 4 are Team B. A player is frozen and cannot win the game if the score of that player's partner is greater than the opposing team's combined score. Okay. 
can only be selected when there are enough credits to start a four player, a 301, 501, 701, or 901 game. To select league play, choose your favorite game and options, then press the flashing league button. All of this, this part, the 301, 501, 701, 901, is way above my skill level. Okay, and so another one you can do is cricket. The objective, to close numbers by hitting each the equivalent of three times. That is three singles, or one triple, or one double, and a single. That makes sense. Numbers 20 through 15 and the bullseye are the only targets to close. So basically on cricket, you've got these scores up here. And so this is the first player. So basically you try to hit the bullseye three times. Or you try to hit 15 three times, or a 15 triple, which would give, light up all three lights, or a 15 double, which would light up two lights, and the other one, and a single, blah, blah, blah. So as you do that, you close all them out. Or light them all up. A player who closes a number may score on that number until it is closed by all the other players. The player who closes the target and has the highest score wins. Team play is available. See league options below. To select, press the Cricket Mark 21 button until CRT appears in display. Cutthroat Cricket option. Anytime they talk about cutthroat, that makes the game more fun. Objective. Same as Cricket, except that players with closed numbers add points to players with those numbers still open. The player who has closed all numbers and has the lowest score wins. Team play is available. See league options below. To select, press the cutthroat option button after selecting cricket. All the option buttons are over here. All right, league option for cricket, cutthroat, or cricket mark 21. Players 1 and 3 are Team A. Players 2 and 4 are Team B. In cricket and cutthroat, a number must be closed by both players before scoring can begin. Game ends when one team has closed numbers 20 through 15 and the bullseye. Points are scored according to each game's rules. Can only be selected when there are enough credits to start a four-player cricket, cutthroat cricket, or mark 21 game. To select league play, choose your favorite game and options, then press the flashing league button. All right, so there we go. And then finally we get to Honest Ernie. There he is, folks, Honest Ernie. Play any game with Honest Ernie, our internal computer. Insert money, select your favorite game and options, push the flashing green Ernie button. Choose Ernie's skill level, one to five, easiest to hardest, by repeated presses of Ernie's button. Skill level shown on the display. Press flashing player change button for number of players. Up to three people can play Ernie at once. Ernie always plays last. So basically the computer will play against you. So uh, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll turn off the lights and we'll play a little game of Shanghai because that's my favorite. And I'll see if I can film a little bit of it and you can just see how it works. Maybe I'll see if I can play against Ernie. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. That's how it looks. So what I'll do is I'll just... Uh, I'll just stand here and hold the camera while I do it. Um, and we'll try to play against Ernie. I don't know how this will turn out, but we'll see what we can do. Um, all right, so I want to play Shanghai because that's my favorite. I want to play it against Ernie. There we go. It's saying don't throw the darts. And now it's saying throw the darts. So let's see what we can do here if I don't drop the camera. And again, I'm horrible at this. And these are cheap, cheap darts. I'm trying to get one. Remember this is Shanghai. Whoa. Oh. Horrible. So now Ernie's going to play. Or maybe I have to remove my darts. Let's see. Yeah, I have to remove my darts. And then Ernie will play. Here he goes. He got one. Boy, you're so good, Ernie. Missed the two. And then he missed two again. All right, so Ernie's beating me. Ernie's taking me to the woodshed. All right, so I'm going to try to get one again. I'm still on one. Nothing. There we go. 
And I got a triple to boot. Yeah, buddy. So now I got to try to get two. Mmm, nothing. All right, so we'll watch Ernie so you can see it a little better. This is what it does. He missed. He didn't get two. Again, he didn't get two. So we're both tied. See how it says two in the middle? That's what I'm still stuck at. All right. Mmm, close. <laughs> Nothing. So we'll watch Ernie. Trying to get two. You cheated, Ernie. Honest Ernie. Yeah, right. I think Ernie might be the same computer that's keeping track of if I'm hitting. All right, so it says two. I'm still trying to get two. Oh, I had it. Okay, I got it. Cool. Pick up the one I dropped on the floor. All right, so I got two. We'll see what Ernie does. He's trying to get three. My turn, so I'm trying to get three. Nothing. Nothing. Ah! Oh, that one didn't count. Horrible. All right, Ernie. Ernie's trying for three as well. I wonder if they're like sandbagging because I'm doing so horribly. All right, so I'm still trying for three. All right, I got it. So now I'm going to four. Oh, come on, I was robbed. <laughs> mm. I got to, got to redo it. That's, that's horrible. Look, it's actually sticking in the four. Horrible. It should have counted, folks. Technological error there. He's going for three still. Oh, come on. Cheat. And then he got the four, too. Yeah, right. All right, it's round seven, so I believe this is my last three darts before Ernie beats me. All right, so four. Mm, I thought I had it. I think that's the end of it, folks. I think Ernie just whipped me. And I got a pathetic eight points. Come on now. Come on, man. He's cheating. Ah, oh, come on. Unbelievable. So there you go. That's a Valley Cougar SM dartboard. Really cool. Really classic. And really fun. Especially if it's got the Honest Ernie feature and you can play up to three players can play against them so basically you start your game and then you press ernie and then you uh if you press them more than once by the way it raises his difficulty level like it said and then you just hit the start the uh player button until there's up to three players because ernie's always the last player so you can do human 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 and then that'll be ernie but i did human and that was ernie so but really cool 
I like it. Really fun. And uh, if you see one of these, you ought to probably try to pick one up. Use it or not too expensive. Um, you can pick one up from us. If you're here local, come by and check it out. Uh, we'll let you uh, test it here in our shop. Just don't hit anybody with the uh, plastic darts as they walk in and out of the door. But uh, if, you, uh, if you check out our website, you can see all the games that we have for sale right now. By the time you see this, we may not have this game in anymore. But uh, check out our website, lionsarcade.com. Or if, uh, if you're not looking for a, a game but you just want to check out the selection and you live local, you can stop by our shop. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, let's say, heck, you're not even looking for a dartboard. You're not even looking for an arcade game like this beautiful Frogger here. You're not even looking for a pinball machine like these. You just like watching these videos. Well, we're okay with that too. So subscribe to us here on YouTube. We, uh, we will film a ton more videos. Every time we get in a cool little game like this, we'll film a little video of it and put it up for all of our YouTube friends. So we'll see you on the next video.